Hello baby gangsters, this is Calvin, also known as Omer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Pokemon Violet, the Indigo Disc. I think I said Indigo Mask last time. Uh, that'd be an interesting DLC, wouldn't it? <laughs> Ogre Pond returns and has a new uh, lifestyle, you know what I mean? It, it just makes perfect sense. Uh, let's heal up our Pokemon first of all, because they don't heal up our Pokemon at the end of a battle. We will have to make more points, like get more BP points, uh, barbecue points, or whatever. Is it BP? I, 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 I could be making that up completely. Um, so the first thing we have to do, pick up 10 items on the ground, catch one Pokemon, uh, which we can do both these, and we can, we'll be able to challenge the next trainer, and take a wild Pokemon. Yeah, we can do that. That's one. That count, is that count, that, I don't, does that count as an item, though? So what we can literally do is, we'll travel to the next gym, and pick up items up along the way. And I think we're going to go to the Fairy Gym next. I think we're going to go to the Fairy Gym next. Now, the issue is with the Fairy Gym is that we're not going to really know what the party is going to be, what the composition of our party is going to be, which is good. Like, it would be kind of silly to kind of, like, learn what Pokemon she has before the battle. Um, because, like, I, like, a while it would be great, <laughs> I'm also, like, in a state where I'm, like, I'd rather not know at this stage. So we can travel here. And then we'll pick up some items along the way and maybe catch one Pokemon as well, which we can do with like a quick ball as well. We can do with like a quick ball easily. Um, we have a good team. Like I think our team is really good, especially if you if you strategize with the team. Uh, it is actually very good. It's very good. But we're gonna have to like figure out what we want to do with the team once we get there, because like it could be like we have a number of different Pokemon. I've strategized to the point that I have leveled up a lot of Pokemon. I've leveled up so many Pokemon here. Um. And I, basically, the idea was how many items we picked up now? Four. Oh, so it only counts as the little little circles in the ground. Um, I've strategized to the point that like I made sure I had multiple different types of Pokemon that I wanted to use. Um, and I've never done that before in a Pokemon game, but this just felt like I had to. Just felt really like I just had to this time. Oh, sneak up to one Pokemon and surprise them in battle? So we can do kill two birds in one stone. That's not how that works. How do how do we sneak again? Hey, get back here. How does sneaking work again? How does how do you sneak again? <laughs> I haven't sneaked once in this game. There we go. Okay. Do you think we could we could sneak up on 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 uh, uh, execute up here? Do you think we could do it? What do you guys think? We could probably do it from here, right? Definitely not. Can it see us? Can this Pokemon see us? Can Execute see us? I know we'll just catch Execute as well and get some more um, barbecue points. I mentioned it yesterday in my uh, in the video, like, and I I. I I put it in the title of the video because I, I meant it a lot. Is that... Did we surprise it? Did we surprise him? I don't think so. It would have come up that we surprised him. But I mentioned it in my video yesterday that, like, I really feel like this would have been my top three favorite games of the year if you count this DLC. Now, I don't know if, like, y you would count the DLC? Um, because, like, I feel like the DLC finished after this... It was done, right? Uh, yeah, we're not gonna. Sure, we're not gonna add him to the team. I feel like the DLC finished this year, right? This DLC came. This, did this DLC come out this year? Okay, so what do we have? Now? We picked ten items up on the ground. Hey, hey, hey! He snuck up on me. <laughs> hey, hey! This isn't the game. Oh my god! Such a, a Zangoose is such a cool design. We don't have time for you, Zangoose, though. I'm sorry. Um, can I check the, um, let me see. So it says to sneak up one Pokemon, surprise in battle, pick up 10 items on the ground, so we can do that again. Along the way. We might as well do it along the way. We need 100, I don't know if we need more BP than to, um, battle Kieran. That's probably the case, right? Like, to battle, uh, Kieran at the end. But then again, we're probably not gonna, like, maybe we can't, maybe we don't sneak up, maybe we have to literally sneak up on them from behind as in, like, Am I right and say we have to sneak up on them behind and not throw the Pokeball? We just have to, like, sneak up on them from behind? Is that an Oddish? Oh my god, it's such a cool... I wish I found the Oddish earlier, man. I would have leveled that Oddish up so good. 
I mean, it's still time. I don't think we're beating the episode, the, the series, this episode. Right? I don't think we're, how many items we pick up. Eight. We need two more. Um. You know, I don't think we're beating, we're gonna beat the, we're definitely not beating it this episode. Catch one Pokemon. Hold on a second, then. when it comes to, okay, let's, oh my god, there's a freaking Royal Plume. I freaking love him so much. It's legit, it's legit, like, probably the coolest Pokemon. Like, it's so, it's such a cool looking Pokemon. So we sneak up, is this what they meant by sneak up on it? Does that count? What did they mean by sneak up on it? Like, cause I feel like... I feel like I'm, I am sneaking up on it. Good, okay, we're not gonna use this Pokemon, but like, we're catching it for the, 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 the stuff itself. Um, and if we're gonna use a Vileplume, we already have a Poison Pokemon, right? We already have a Poison Pokemon. Um... So, there's no point catching a Vileplume. Like, he's one, he's one of the coolest Pokemon ever, I think. Oh, he's gonna evolve into Tentacruel eventually, that's cool. Um... But I don't see the point in maybe catching him? So maybe we get it at a distance and then we throw the Pokeball? Like, around here? Did that count? I don't get what counts. Look how cool this Pokemon is. And it maybe just reminds you like a Dark Souls enemy, Vileplume. Um, we'll catch it anyway. We'll catch it anyway, and who knows, I might change my mind. But then again, if, if there's a Pokemon I want to level up, if we are going to level up like a kind of like grassier type Pokemon, I think Ogre Pond would make, make more sense for the story. But like, I don't want to use Ogre Pond against Kieran, do I? Grass Poison is a great mix, by the way. Would you like to give Vileplume a nickname? I would. So it's, I was thinking like kind of like... Uh, like, since it's a Dark Souls thing. Oscar. Um, sent to the boxes. But we have them if we want to level them up. And we, I know, and like, leveling up people with chances is, like, the easiest thing in the world. I don't know what, like, I don't know if that's a thing in every game. But so, but, like, if it is a thing in every game, like, it would be very easy. Snick one power, make yourself a TM. We can do that as well. Like, we can do that next time we're at it. Actually, literally, next time we're at the machines there. So, we're going to battle this Fairy-type gym, which I don't, like, Fairy- Oh my god, look at all these boys together. Fairy-type weakness is... Poison and Steel? Do we have- We have a Poison-type. We have a character with Poison abilities. So, let's go into our boxes, first of all. I think we send out- I think we- To start off, we have... We could use Victory Bell, but he's too low-leveled at this stage? Um... But I think Too Cruel is someone we have to put on the team right away. Right? We're going to keep Toto on the team just because Toto is like really powerful for the general. I think keeping the two fighting types is not smart because it's fairy type and they could just destroy him. Right? They could just destroy him right away. Uh, we could teach some Pokemon some steel moves though. So first of all, let's take Kubo off the team. Right? And gone off the team because I think they will get destroyed very easily. Um... Fival, I think, will add back to him because he is fairy type, so he might have some resistance and also has election. And then someone said that Fival was like the MVP of the last episode. I very much agree. And he's also the MV he's also generally MVP in general sometimes. You know? He's he's MVP in general. Uh he knows what he's he's very good at what he does. And maybe Gus, actually. Maybe Gus. Like that might be a good team. And if we can maybe teach some steel moves to Sora and Lip. And to everyone, like, if they want to learn some steel moves. Uh, or, or some poison moves, either. If they can learn some moves. Let's look at some TMs here. So we have... Let's see what steel moves you have and what poison moves you have. Uh, that's... That's rock. We're, we have to... We have, must have steel moves. So we have poison toxic spikes. So he can only learn that. Flash cannon. Nobody can learn that. Iron Head, oh, yes, right, yes, probably for the best, if, the, like, we don't know if this is gonna work out, but it's probably for the best, so I think we get rid of Dragon Dance, for now, because, like, at this point, maybe, I wonder if there's a move that, like, uh, Lip can learn, 
you know? There's Dragon Pulse. <laughs> um, what's Dragon Pulse? 8500 Accuracy. That's a move we should be teaching Sora, right? Instead of Dragon Rush. No, probably, probably Lip. Right? Probably Lip. And we teach that instead of Boom Burst. Or maybe instead of Dragon Claw as well. I don't know. Uh, where is... Is there any more steel moves that we can... Like, is there any poison moves that you can use? Toxic can only be... Okay, so there's only, only one Pokemon we have. Hard Press. So this might be good to use, but no one can learn it. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure some of our fighting types could learn the steel, the steel moves. Uh, is there any Pokemon I think that could learn some steel moves? So let me see. Should we try put? Should we probably try see if Silver if Silver can learn some steel moves? Maybe put him on instead of Gus. Um, and maybe see if, like again, it's 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 all just a case of like can it work? He it cannot work. It cannot work. Can he learn poison moves? He cannot. Okay. I feel more comfortable than putting Silver on the team anyway, because then we have more of a a breath or a mix. We still have to do the trial, by the way. The, the last trial was freaking fun. Yo, your gears. See, I knew his name was a Gears all along. Game tries to trick you by having him call him a right on. But he's going around a place saying gears. What are the other missions we have to do? Take a photo of a wild Pokemon that is swimming. I mean, we could easily do that, couldn't we? They're usually over here. Can we... Hold on. What's photo mode again? Wait, get off... What's photo mode? Here we go. Okay, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> that counts, right? It is. It does count. Great. Great. So we now have enough to battle the next three, the next two trainers at the very least. I'm actually excited for this. I don't know how well it's gonna go. Who the who's? The, I forgot his doubles. So I guess Toto might be a good idea to keep out. Uh, or Sora. Let, let's like let's put Sora in the same position as there we go. And that's our first two. And these are always like the Pokemon that we could uh, use to like maybe get some sort of advantage here. Oh my God! Look at this Pokemon. It's like it's like a '90s cartoon. I love it. Welcome to Coastal Plaza. We're in the team store at the board, Miss Lacey of the Elite Four, and you're wondering, right? One of the BP BB League challengers? Sure. Yes, I have a lot of BP. Would you believe? Yeah, the BP stuff wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Thank you very much. Julie received a noted. We need you over here, Miss Lacey. Who's Miss Lacey? No, we know Miss Lacey. She's lovely. Beat us. She was, she, this is actually so cool. She was the one who beat us first. Oh, gee, Wonder, I'm glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please follow me. I'll show you the try side. So if this trial isn't defeat the trainers with Pokemon you caught here, then the other guys did that trial then. We know that then. Thank you for coming to Coastal Plaza to challenge me. And I'm really sorry the way I protested you joined the BB League, Wonder. Of course, it's true that I'm quite a regular under bylaws of our school club, but mainly I didn't want you to get dragged into the drama that's been troubling the club lately. I suppose the trial has officially begun, though, so let's get a move and have fun, some fun. The trial come up with is Pokemon quiz. I'll ask you five questions of Pokemon. If you can answer them all correctly, then you pass. <gasps> Are you ready to time my Pokemon quiz, Wonder? Sure. Great, then. I'll just get everything ready. Oh, no. Oh, that's a Pikachu. I know that. See, I got one right. Okay. Question one. All right, here we go. And it's everyone's favorite Pokemon Pikachu here to help. And that with that question one, Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon well known for producing electricity within its body. But which part of its body does it store uh, its cheeks? Its cheeks. Cheeks. Yeah, I know that. I watched the TV show as a kid, a little bit. Ding ding ding, you got it. Pikachu and the movie. Pikachu stores electricity in electric sacks in its cheeks. If you poke the sacks, to get a little shock. But don't you think they're cute, super round and cute? Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the next quest quiz question. Okay, what's the next question? Oh, about a, a Venom boy? A Venonat? It's bigger than you think it would be, but isn't it? Uh, it's also fluffy. It's squeezable and terribly adorable, really. So here's the question, too. Even on the darkest nights, Venonat is able to use a certain part of his body like radar, which allows it to text surrounding objects. Which part of Venonat's body acts like radar? It has to be in the antenna, right? It has to be. 
right? Hey, stop. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Stand still! You idiot! <laughs> yeah, there we go. Antenna has. What? What is it? Quite a large part of Venom's body is eyes? What? That's weird. So wait, hold on a second. Wait, you just let me pass? Okay, thank you. I love you. Now then, I think we're in, then, yeah, I I totally got that one right. I don't know anything about these. Oh god, I don't, I don't even know this. I don't know anything about this Pokemon. How about a cup of tea or maybe uh, three Sinistee siblings? Here's question three. Sinistee like you to like to live in precious antique teacups. A lot of phonies out there. It's hard to tell which cups are genuine art uh, antiques. One of these Sinistees is an antique from Sinistee, meaning it's found in a real antique cup. So which Sinistee is the real deal? What? How am I supposed to know that? Oh, they're doing spins. Do you do a turn as well? How how am I supposed to know this? Wait, how am I supposed to... How am I supposed to know this? Okay, that's a squiggle, that's a squiggle. They're all the same. What am I noticing? What is the difference? What is the difference? That's a... Okay, they all have cracks in them. They all have like little. I... Are you guys noticing the difference? <laughs> I'm gonna guess this one because I don't even freaking know. Underside of the. I can look on the underside. Let me see. I can't even see the underside of the cups. Well, that had black on the underside of its cup. A little bit. What? How can I see the underside of the cups? What do you What do you want about? This one, then. What? It's the middle? Easy question. Easy question. Look at the underside. How do you look? Maybe there's a button you can look on the underside of the cups, and I'm an idiot. Oh god, look at this. Poison jab's not very effective. Sure. Let's use hydro pump, I guess, and let's use iron head against. So they're not. Wait, they don't. Oh god. I shouldn't use that on a slow bro. The underside of the cup? The underside of the cup. What is that? <laughs> the under, like, again. You know what's probably? Oh god, now we have to wait a turn. You're in a trial. Don't use protect, because then after that it takes so much longer. You're you're doing a trial. You're not trying to like. I'm I'm just having fun. You're doing a trial. It's my fun time. It's my time. No, it's not your time. It's my time. Are you not embarrassed by your 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 person here using a, a, a like a move like that? Protect in a trial. I I I just I'm. It's it's, it's her time. It's my time. No. Die. What do they mean by the underside of a cup? I saw, like, the middle one? I don't get it. Like, maybe, I, again, I have no problem people saying, Calvin, you got it wrong, and this is how you do it. Jesus Christ, man. I always accept that. The underside of the cup. Okay, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Okay, let's see you later. We got it in me, thanks to your missteps, and now I guess that's all will part thanks to mine. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine coming in to do a trial with someone and use protect. <laughs> Extending the trial. Okay, can you tell me what what what, what the answer was? Wait. What mark? What mark? There, there, there is a mark, but I can't see it. 
I wish you could have showed me so I, I didn't feel. Oh, dude, that's not even a real Pokemon. That's not even a real Pokemon. It comes all kinds of different colors, you know. All for us first. Take a good look at this pinkish mini ore for me, okay? Okay, I can do this. Oh, it's this one over here. Yeah, that, you can never get me with those type of questions, guys. I'm actually like, that's something I'm actually good at. <laughs> is, is following shit, you know? Sorry for swearing. Aren't me are adorable? The color variety is based on what they eat. They actually look pretty good. Pretty good Pokemon. Now then, I think we're gonna move on to the very last question. Oh god, what's this question? What's the my what's my name? Oh yes! Oh. Here comes Gramble. Maybe oh god, maybe heard Pink and decided to stop by. This little sweetie is one of my own Pokemon. It's always with me. One last question. Question five will involve Gramble here. Gramble is quite a delicate and lovable Pokemon, of course. But can you tell me this? When I nap with my adorable Gramble, which part of the body do you use as a pillow? If you don't use the belly as a pillow, you are a bad person. No belly. I'm sorry, but Jesus, you're so, so good. She's a very great design, by the way. I love this girl. Ding, ding, that's exactly right. I use that soft, adorable tummy. When I cradle up, to cuddle up to it, it's so soft and cozy. We both fall asleep in just seconds. And that's the end of my quiz. You got uh, through all five questions, even if you didn't have to, did have to fight your way through. So I still don't know the cup question. I think the cup question has killed me. Congratulations, Wander. You're officially here in my lead trial. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared because these battles are incredible. And like, they're actually some of the most fun battles, but also they're terrifying because I'm I like, oh, this is a beautiful stage here. Really beautiful. And like the, the mountains in the background, the snowy mountains. Sure, let's go. Got it, no time to waste then. Let's get to our positions. This should be about far enough. Let me probably introduce myself for this. I'm Lacey the Elite Four. I really expected to get challenged from someone like you, Wonder. Rightfully, you do belong to a different school. Honestly, I'm still a bit shocked, but I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of our battle. So, uh, let's see. First of all, I should tell you... I mostly use fairy-type Pokemon. There's just nothing like an adorable fig pink fairy, right? They're weak to poison steel and anything too caustic or cutting just doesn't suit them. Oh, but you must know this already, right, Wonder? Now for this battle, I'm not going to hold anything back. I want to be sure to walk you walk away with a proper understanding after all. You're about to learn the cuteness is real strength. You're challenged by Lacey the BB legally for. Oh wow, is that a is that a grass type or is that just a, a fairy grass type? I, I just look at the green. It's time you're facing you and my usual party is member lead four. Yeah, the other the other part, the original party killed me. Gramble is such a cool Pokemon. Sora's in her focus, so let's start with Poison Jab and just try to get Gramble. And then do Iron Head and try to get Gramble. You know what I mean? I feel like that's probably the best way to go about it. That's a, These are cool looking Pokemon. Fairy types are really cool. You know what I mean? It's super effective. It's a rock style strategy to go after weaknesses, which is why I'll be turning it right back on you. Wait, what? You have a fa Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Good. See you later, Gramble. Talk to you later. Have a good day. Great looking Pokemon. I love the way they celebrate. Lacey sends out Primarina? That's not even a real Pokemon. Oh, it is. It's actually the Pokemon from Pokemon Sun. It's awesome. Wait, wait, hold on a second, though. Is this a mixture of a fairy type as well? Because this could destroy our dragon type. I forgot about that. Moonblast. Yeah. Let's hope we go first. A little poison jab. Super effective, you know, but he, they lowered our attack. Oh, and it's poison as well. That's so good. Such a good looking Pokemon as well. Look at this. Iron Head again. Okay, okay, okay. But now she's gonna do something that's fucking insane. I sorry for so I don't know why I'm swearing this episode, guys. I'm just nervous. I'm so sorry. Too many cusses happening. You know what happened? You know what happened? 
I met up with like old family la in the past while. That's probably <laughs> that's probably what happened. Um, let's let's use Fivel. Let's use Fivel because it's, it's water fairy. Um, and let's try another poison jab, and then let's use uh, thunder. Moonblast, really cool move. It should you shouldn't hurt Fivel too much. Oh my god, we're actually getting the thunder. It's gonna destroy it. It's gonna destroy it. Why did you have to land it kind of hit like that? That's just not right. Oh, the X, yay, X. Hey, what are you doing, X? Love this. This is really good. She's a really good trainer. A really good Pokemon. I'm gonna use Poison Jab with this boy too. Look at that. Oh my god, we're actually doing good. But then Slowbro comes out and ruins everything for us. Actually, Slowbro might actually like get destroyed by. No, we won't. Okay. Tailwind? Oh, don't send my Pokemon away. Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay, I thought that like it would it would do way more damage than that. Poison jab, get rid of you. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Two crows doing good for now. I I I will never praise my 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 battling until the end. That's it makes sense that he he's able to do that with his poison moves. I will never praise my battling in Pokemon until I get to the end of the battle. You know what I mean? Actually, you know what's really good? What's really good that's happened here? Um. Because we, we, we lost the match, we lost the question, we had to battle this Pokemon earlier. We all oh, so, oh, creamy. We actually got the type advantages for this, so we had know the what the advantages we have with types. Isn't that awesome? So let's start with the poison jab and do it against you, and then let's do a Shadow Ball against Slowbro. Decorate, it's such a good looking Pokemon. There's a lot of good looking Pokemon in this in Violet in fairness. Like it's a it's, it's a really pretty uh, Pokemon game. Uh poison jab? Nice. Okay, like again, his his attack has been lowered. Shadow Ball shouldn't be lowered. Still, I think so what people said about these these Pokemon is very very true. I mean, might have to give give some items to hold them for the last battle because if we're fighting against Kieran, Psychic. Oh God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what well, what I might do is because too cruel is too good to like. Because Too Cruel is too good to have just like off the team, I might do a full restore on Too Cruel. Because Too Cruel has the poison moves, which is probably the only thing we have now against like fairy types, really, right? So I think that's probably the best thing we could do. And then the light screen's gone as well, so okay, it's again, it's it's again, they have like a lot of defense, they lower their attack as well, now El Creamy is poison, I don't like that I had to poison poor little El Creamy. Slowbro use Psychic. Um, I think that now, yes, no, that was gonna happen, because now, the, the game is actually very smart, and I think that the game has always been very smart throughout the whole playthrough. What happens is, a character, like, when they figure out something that works, they use it all the time. And it just makes sense. Like, why wouldn't they use the thing that, that works all the time? So we have two other Pokemon. We have this Pokemon here, or we have this Pokemon here. I think we use Silver, because it's Sucker Punch. Hey, Silver, I'm back. Do you want me to do some really cool moves? No, I just need Sucker Punch. Oh. Not any rock moves? Not in, no, we don't need any uh, rock moves today. Nice, nice hit. If he can get Shadow Ball next, but he's gonna yet. Yeah. Alcreamy, Alcreamy's using Recover. Well done, Alcreamy. We we support Alcreamy in this in this in this house. Okay, so Slowbro's gone. Okay, 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 and it's also like totals level ninety. You know, Toto's level 90, let's not, let's not deny it. We can't just be like, oh, he's the best ever. Level 90. Oh, this Pokemon! This is the destroyer of worlds, the eater of pancakes! Extra Drill is back! Dig? Should we use Dig against one of these Pokemon? Yes, we should. And then... Torch Song is super effective? Oh, God. All eyes on- oh, my God. Oh, she's so beautiful, man. What the hell? 
Girl, we should be friends. Yeah, oh my god, this is it's such a cool Pokemon. Look at this. And the heart, the fairy heart. It turned into a fairy, everything changed. We're in trouble. We should have realized that. But then again, I, I, I never realized that. I don't think... Oh, not how high horsepower. Oh, wait. Still use Dig. Still use Torch Song. Ah, oh, it's my Torch Song. Prove that my right song. I don't care no beliefs. Decorate. Gonna decorate this little pole. He doesn't need to get bigger. He's already one of the coolest little chunky boys I've ever seen in my life. Uh, are we gonna use Dig? Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, I'm going. We still have Lip, so I think we, we have to get rid of the Alcremi as soon as possible. What do you guys think? So I'm thinking Sucker Punch on Alcremi. Um, or a Shadow Ball. Maybe we use a... No, because he, he has ground moves, so that's not a good idea. To, to turn full... F Unless our, 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 ter our terrestrialization turns us into... go. No, it's fire. So that's not a good idea. So maybe we um, use Torch Song on Alcremi. Try to get rid of Alcremi. High horsepower. Oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot he could just do this. Oh, we're in trouble. We, I think we're going to lose this one. It's fine. We'll go back and fight him again. Um, I think having a better start would be a good idea too. Like, I think having Sora later on in these battles wouldn't be bad. You know, it wouldn't be bad to have Sora later on in these battles. His special attack has also grown a lot too. Oh, if we there's, there was no way we we're gonna be able to get rid of him at that point. Uh, Lip is the only one left, so we have to just just go for it. We have to just try and just go for. It. I think Sucker Punch. We just have to go for Sucker Punch on on Extra Drill. That's the only thing we can do. Um, and then use Earthquake or something. But then I'm worried. Our, no, Sucker Punch will always go first, right? Because it's it's a move that like is is about is pre is predated on. Um. Yeah, but it's not going to do much damage. Air Slash, maybe, on Extra Drill? Yeah, it's not going to do much damage. No! No! Leave him alone! <laughs> Leave him alone! Oh, my God. Look at that! That didn't even kill it! That end's going to use Giga Drain! Oh, I'm, I'm worried. I'm definitely worried. If we had a max revive right now, we could probably bring out Sora. And it could actually work out a little bit. Um, Are we fast enough to go first, though? In any way, shape, or form? Because, <laughs> like, I would love to then just, like, use a move to just, like... Like, is Air Slash... Go Air Slash is going to go first, right? Like, no, it won't. Because we're not fast enough. As... as Wait, what's our... What's our... Our terrestrialized form? It's dragon, so would it be a smart? Okay, I don't even know if it would be smart to use our terrestrialized form of dragon. Um, but we have to get rid of Exodrill. We have to get rid of him. That's the only. If we can get rid of Exodrill, it's over. If we can just somehow get rid of Exodrill, we can do this. Um, and if like say Al Creamy uses like a different move, like Protect or something like that, I think this team isn't bad against this 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 team. You know what I mean? I think it's fine. Terra Blast. Oh my god. And she's gonna Terra Slice, so we need we need maybe to keep Tent Tentacool alive. Jesus Christ, that was tough. Um Okay. So what can we do in this moment? We look at our team. Yeah. We look at our team. We look at our team. Hold on a second here. Um, so this worked out at, at first. But in the end, I feel like we need to keep Sora for later. So maybe putting Toto a little bit earlier on might be a good idea. I think having Silver on the team was great. I think having Five on the team wasn't a bad idea either. Um, until later on. And I think Five would do later, better later on. So let's try out this battle again. I do think that, and like I understand that I think Exit Drill is weak to fighting tights, but it's not going to matter because he turns into a fairy type. You know what I mean? So we we need we need like maybe a poison type.
Because I think, like, the, the one thing that affected, uh, though, too cruel was the freaking weakness part of it. You know what I mean? And also the fact that he's part ghost as well. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? So let's start off with a... Hold on a second, though. Pokemon. What's what's his terror type? It's poison. So should we become a poison type? You're so pretty. Um, yeah, I'm up for like terrorizing right away. And getting rid of Wim uh, Wim Scott. No, no, the Gramble. Getting rid of Gramble early was the was the plan. Oh, we could do this. We could definitely do this. I think it's probably the best plan we have. I love the way the poison thing looks. Good damage. Good damage, you know what I mean? Not perfect. No, you don't need to turn any weaknesses back on me. This is when we defeated Gramble the first time, so maybe we should have gone for Gramble right away. Ah, oh, cha Actually, pretty good damage for Bottom, but now Gramble's gonna do something that's freaking insane. Tantrum? Jesus Christ, where does he get off doing that? And then if you use Torch Song on you. Okay, Tailwind isn't bad. Tailwind isn't bad. Like, it's just not bad. We're gonna get rid of Gramble. Gramble's gone. Beautiful Pokemon. Love it. Then we're going to get rid of you now. And we kept you on the field for way too long before Wimscott, I think. Now Torch Song is just going to get rid of you. And we're going to fully heal our Too Cruel. I think that's probably a good strategy. 91. I've never had a Pokemon that was even close to 90 in my life. So this is Slowbro, who can do poison moves. And this is a Pokemon that can do water moves, so I'm not sure if we should keep him out here right now. I think I think we get rid of Toto. Right? I think we get rid of Toto. I know, though, it can do strong against rock moves as well, but honestly, I feel like I'd rather have Toto alive than have him dead. <laughs> That's such a redundant thing to say. Um, Toto's like... I think this is a bad move, actually. Okay, Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice ain't too bad, but if, he's, if, 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 if he uses a move on um, Silver now, we're effed. You know, that's it. I think we started off with a good strategy. It was just changing around Pokemon was probably the best uh, thing we could have done. Okay, so Psychic on him is not too bad. Are we, are we poisoned? It's, oh no, he's, he's just, he has the essence of poison surrounding him. Uh, poison Jab on you. And Sucker Punch on you, maybe? Dig is also super effective against you as well. Which is more powerful? Dig. But Sucker Punch goes first. So I'm willing to do that first. Oh god. Not good. I think maybe, do we save Too Cruel for later? And bring out Sora at the start instead? What do you guys think about that maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Um, we were doing so good at the at start, so like really... I think we send out Lip, place on the left, and Sora on the right. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> but then again, it's Fairy against Dragon, so like they will be able to destroy us easily if we don't get to go first. So maybe not having the Dragon types in this battle is a good idea, because again, it's Fairy type. Um...
We'll try our best. Yeah, see, I, it's going to destroy our Sora right away. Yeah. Oh, no, no, he stayed alive, though, for it, which is good. But still, I feel like we take the two Dragon types off our team. It doesn't affect Sora, but it will affect these boys. Jesus Christ, they have so much defense. And he's eating a freaking Abbey food. No, you wasted that in the last battle. If I wasted mine in the last battle, they wouldn't let me use it again. Jesus Christ, man. This is scary. Because now Ice Beam is going to just destroy this Pokemon. And he doesn't care about me. Sora cares about me. This Lip doesn't give a damn about me to stay alive. <laughs> Lip doesn't care. Oh, they had a light screen. I forgot about that. That's my bad. That's probably why they they, they were able to do that. Uh, Fivel, I guess. But then again, we're like we're down teams now. We're like to I don't think Toto and Fivel can do this by themselves. If I'm being honest with you, we could use uh, Discharge, but that's gonna kill our Pokemon too. Uh, we could use Volt Switch. And I actually think that would be really good, actually. And then we could use Aerial Ace. It never misses. You know what? Actually. Shouldn't we do this instead? Revive our boy? Like, we're going to take the hit. You know what I mean? We're going to take the hit to make the play. That makes sense, right? We shouldn't have Dragon types on our team anyway. Because Fairy is good against Dragon, isn't it? We shouldn't have Dragon types on our team. Nice. Okay, 89 though. We're leveling up. Uh, let's send out Toto for now. Because I, I actually think that Toto is not going to be as useful. Anyway. Ice Beam is going to destroy him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we'll send back out Fivel. Now. That's what we'll do. We'll send back out Fivel. And Fivel can use Thunder on whatever Pokemon she's going to use. Um... <laughs> Again, maybe two dragon types on the team is, is not good. Oh, I forgot about El Creamy. But we can we can still work on this. We can still work on this. So if we use Shadow Ball on who? On you? And then if we use Thunder on Slowbro as well. Just to make sure they get destroyed. Yeah, let's try it. Jesus, yeah, because we need to make sure a slow gets off the field. But now she's gonna, now they're gonna bring out the other boy, which is the toughest boy in the in the group. Alluring voice. See, we have some sort of oh, eggs drill here. Here it is. It's actually crazy tough, man. X good, X good drill. So if we use Torch Song on you, and then use Thunder on, but it's, he's going to turn into a Fairy type, right? It should work then because it's the Terror type. Yeah. I'm still, I'm terrified, man. I like, I think having the two Dragon types is, was a bad idea first of all, and like the Steel has done nothing for us. Jesus Christ, man. Um, and there's nothing we can do. Like, he's going to destroy... Um, he's going to destroy Toto with it, with it, with it, with it, with his next move. But we're going to have to use... Honestly, I I think we, we tried to let Too Cruel do this all by himself. <sighs> I don't know what you guys think about that idea. I'm going to... Full restore you. And then we're gonna do a a sludge wave, maybe? But I feel like poison jab is more direct for some reason. But if you use sludge wave, we can use it against both Pokemon. I think we try to get rid of Exadrill as soon as possible. That's all we can think of to do. You know what I mean? I think that's all we can think of to do. Exadrill is a problem. Exadrill is a problem. What? 
It's a, is it because it's a ground move? Like, what, why, is this, why, is this, why is this damaging my Pokemon so much? Now, now we're going to have a wasted turn as well because we use full restore. We're done. This is over. Can, you, can I just, like, start the... Can you just, like, take me out of the battle right now? Do I have to wait around? Because I, I really just want to get back into this. Yawn is something we should use more often. Honestly, like, <laughs> we're going to die anyway, because you can use high horsepower now, watch. Yeah. Really OP Pokemon. Really OP Pokemon. Very OP. Um, okay, let me try. So, put, first of all, putting dragon types out there, dumb as heck. Dumb as heck. I don't know. I think I just did it because I was like, oh, they're, they're whatever. But I forgot about the fairy type advantage. Um, let's just replace those Pokemon. Actually, I think that, like, since they're already strong against them... Maybe putting the two fighting types might be good. So at least we'll get like quick. They're quick, and we can get some like cool damage out of them. What do you guys think about that? Um, so we take you. You're off the team for now. Sora, you're also off the team. You're great, but you're off the team. Um, so I'm thinking we put our fighting types back on, and maybe a, our, our Iro back on as well. So if we put Gon and Iro back on, actually, putting Kubo might be a better idea. Because he has the, the the bug type thing as well, but that's not going to do much. Um, I think that si put silver in the top position, so silver can be the sacrificial lamb for this. But keep too cruel out there, because too cruel starting off is always a good idea for me. The, I think one of the biggest issues with like strategy in this for me is that like it doesn't let you you know change Pokemon in between battles. Uh, like, yeah, it's just have to battle the next one, you know? I can never hate this character, by the way. Torch Song was good against uh, that Pokemon there, but I think I think focusing on taking. I don't think I don't think this the Pokemon there was was a problem. So maybe trying to keep that Pokemon alive might not be a bad idea as a strategy, keeping Wimscott Wimscott alive. Poison Jab on you, and then uh, maybe like a, a Rock Tomb on you as well. Now it's learning new moves. <laughs> rock solid strategy? Yeah, I do have a rock solid Pokemon. I might just use Sucker Punch. He was. Poor Silver was l less useful because I put him as a sacrificial lamb. Um. We haven't used Iroh once in these battles. Let's use Iroh. Uh, so we have super effective here. Bug Buzz is effective against Wimbiscott. Psychic is effective against... Yeah, let's try Psychic. Light Screen again. Oh my god. Light Screen's a pretty OP move as well. It kind of just makes like all of our little critical hits that we usually would do not as effective, you know? Psychic always, like, is scary, isn't it? It's always does good damage at the very least. Here's a poison type. Poison Psychic. So I'm actually pretty happy to have him out here. Let's try and get rid of Wimbiscott then. And Bug Buzz against you, maybe? Oh, God. Oh, okay, 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 okay. 
if it poisons, we're good. Okay, bug buzz. Oh, Jesus Christ. But I'm, I'm just I'm worried that, like, this ain't going to do a lot of damage, but it's still going to do damage. So what if we do... Honestly, what if we switch out our Pokemon? And do a throw chop on this boy. But then he's going to get destroyed very easily, so I feel like it doesn't make much sense. We could do... I don't mind keeping Wimbiscot out. Here, you know what I mean? Keeping Wimbiscot at a low damage level. We're not going to do it this time either, I don't think. I think putting Silver out there first was a very silly idea when he could, he could use his move. His move. Like, some of these Pokemon are dangerous. You know what I mean? Some of these Pokemon are dangerous. So I think we do Volt Switch on you, and then we do another Bug Buzz on you. <laughs> it made up a new thing! It, oh god, no. We're Fairy, so we can't get, we won't get hurt by that, but we'll use Volt Switch. <laughs> Stop! No, how many do- okay, you need to tell me- the game needs to tell me how many of those she has, because if I ate one of those, they would be used up completely. You know what I mean? They'd be used up completely, so I think she needs to tell me what, what she has. Um, I'm just going to send out Kubo. Kubo will get destroyed by Fairy-type moves. Like, Moonblast will destroy Kubo, which means we have to get rid of Wimbus Wimbuscot as soon as possible. Jesus Christ, man. That's like one of the most depressing things ever. It's so depressing. When did you get... You got quick draw, now you realize you can't defeat us. <laughs> now you're like, oh, he has a strategy here. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Okay, the mix is helping. The mix is helping a little bit. Man, this is so terrifying. This was demor This was going really well, then it became so demoralizing. You know? <laughs> it was going so well, that was demoralizing. So, let's see. So, none of these are super effective. Sword Dance is not going to be effective either. Throw Chop against... I think we have to get rid of you first. And use Psychic maybe on Primaria as well. Oh god. I guess not. Kubo's very good. We're keeping Kubo on the team, but this is obviously the troll chop ain't gonna work very well. Um, see, so I wonder who like can we use a full restore on. Fival, and hopefully this will give us and, and a full restore on Kubo. Like, oh man. Like there we go. Like see what I mean? Unless, unless, oh, they're going for Moonblast on Kubo. No, 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 not on Kubo. Okay. Fine. Okay. Okay. We can't... If our healing, they're just going to do this anyway. So I think we do... Sword Dance. No, I think we do Brick Break, because it's just going to go fast. And all these are all these are like... No, we'll do this, and we'll do it on Primordia. And then we'll do Thunder on... And hope, hope it just works. And it missed. Of course it did. Of course it missed when I needed it to work. I'm sweating. Oh, 
God. We have no choice but to send out these two. Uh, they're not going to do well against this team. Like, unless we can take out both these both these guys at the same time. And then I can heal up too cruel or something. It's not going to work because he's going to get, like, freaking, like... I think we start off with, like, just doing Poison Jab against... We have to get rid of Paramita. Pr 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 you know, we have to get rid of her. Um, Shadow Ball, maybe, against... Like, we can try, but they're going to get to go first for some reason. Oh, they're not. Great. For once. Now, let us use Shadow Ball. Time okay. But now he's going to send out the, the big bad boy. Oh, no. Yeah, come on out. Come on out. Okay. Poison Jab on you. Torch Song on you. It's not going to work out because it's going to be not effective. But I'm, I think we're going to strategize exactly what we do with the team. You know what I mean? Exactly what we do with the team. Um, and then we'll try and go in again. It still did pretty good damage. You know what I mean? Up until, the, like, this Pokemon is clearly, like, gonna destroy us towards the end. Um... I'm going to Terrorize even though it's not going to matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? We have to strategize team for team. That's what we have to do. We can't think about this... Uh, like, I'm thinking about this in a, in, a, in a more poor fashion than it should be. Um, okay. I think what we do is, we change the team around again, right? And maybe we put Sora back on for stuff like Slowbro. But Slowbro is going to be weak to, like, what, Dark? Um, let's see. 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 Okay, so my idea is, right, okay, hear me out. So the, they, she starts off with Grand, with Grand Boy and Wimbus, Wimbuscot, right? And... That's all well and good. I think we put Toto in the starting position for Wimmiscott and get rid of Wimmiscott as soon as possible. Right? Um, and then maybe we put Too Cruel also still in the starting position. And we just get rid of Wimmiscott so it can't do any like special things. I think that's what it was doing is putting up light screens and stuff like that. Some of these Pokemon like Silver... He has a dark sucker sucker punch, but sucker punch ain't gonna do a lot. So after that happens, she sends out. Um, so it's Grand Blue then Wimmiscott. She has La Premier. What's it called? The Pokemon's called La Premieria. I think it's called like, um, Premieria. But it's like it's like water. Like it's like. Isn't it like it's like water mixed with fairy? Um, Iro didn't do very good. Iro did not do very good. I think that so far, I think yeah, having these three on the team is a good idea. 
I think if we if we kill Wimiscott as soon as possible, I think we're going after the wrong Pokemon. We kill Wimiscott as soon as possible, then we kill Grand Blue. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Kuba was good. Kuba was good. So we put I'm putting him here just so he can stand this. So I think the two that we're thinking of like maybe maybe taking out of the, of the team is Iro. Um and Maybe silver? I know you guys are probably like, Calvin, that's not what you do. It's not what you do. I'm just trying my best. Maybe put Devil on the team. And we have them take out Wimiscott, like, in the first... Like, just, just to have them take out Wimiscott right away. And then put you in place of, um... Silver, maybe? Or Iroh? Do we have any Pokemon that can do dark moves? Or maybe we can teach some dark moves to uh, some of our Pokemon? Like, can we teach a dark, another another dark move to... What do we do? We have Throat Punch, which is already a really freaking good dark move. Like, it's actually very good for what it is. So I'm thinking we try to get rid of Wimiscott as soon as possible so Wimiscott can't do a bunch of crazy stuff. Right? Is that a good is that a good idea? Um And for like say for the likes of maybe we put Gus on the team as well. Because it's pure electric and like we can place Gus with silver. So then like for Pokémon like like Primarina, Primar, Primar Marina, we have like a, like a kind of a mix there as well. Um, also, hold on a second here. These are the things you can you can. Wait, no, these are the things you can give to a Pokemon, right? No. Clear Amulet. I didn't help you with this. Clear Sparkling Amulet protects the holder from having its stats lowered by moves against other Pokemon abilities. That actually might be really good. Cornerstone Mass. Nine to be held by Ogre Pond. So this is Ogre Pond stuff. The energy that fills this capsule boosts the strength of a Pokemon. So would giving this to you be a good idea? Uh, we have Grassy Seed. The holder will use its seed to boost its own defense staff. Grassy Seed. Um, Snowball. And I'm helping about the single use ball of snow boosts the attack of its stat of its holder is damaged by an ice side move. So, okay, hold on a second. Is damaged by an ice type move. Should, I don't know if maybe that's a good thing. So if we reduce the weight, does that make them faster? This tick pair of glasses is to the horse special moves. I think we give that to Toto. Uh, muscle band. Physical moves, shell bell. Boost the power of the holder's ground type moves. We could give this to Silver. And put Silver back on the team. Lucky Egg, uh, Everstone, King's Rock. Honestly? Yeah. I don't want to give this stuff to the Pokemon just in case in my... Yeah, I don't want to, like, lower stats and stuff like this. But... I do want to give this to Too Cruel. To, to raise their special defense. Um, I do want to do this as also to raise his special attack boost as well, maybe? Muscle Feather. Increase base points of Pokemon attack stat. I also want to give this to... 
You is Kubo. It won't have any effect. Maybe you. Swift Feather Booster Speed Stat. This is okay. So we want to put. If we want to Pokemon to go first, who do you want to go first? You. Right. Too cruel for this battle. I don't know, man. I don't know. Iron. HP up, PP up. I think this is good as well. Just for def a, def a defense stat. We give it to you. Um. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. If we fail this time, I'll come back next time regrouped. Um, I don't mind failing. Like, it's okay. Games, you know, like, I always see that often where people are like, you know, games are about making you feel good. I think sometimes feeling bad in a game uh, about your, um, self, about your performance is not a bad thing either. Because, like, then next time you eventually feel good about your performance, it's going to feel amazing. So yeah, plan is to get rid of Wimbiscot as soon as possible. That's my plan. Now this could be a terrible plan. But that's the plan. Girl, I know. You're destroying me. That that last Pokemon is the biggest issue. If we didn't have the last Pokemon, it'd be fine. But that's like saying like if we didn't, you know, like we always say, if wishes were fishes, the world would be an ocean. And there's no point in saying that. So if we get rid get uh What have you sunny day? What do you guys think using Sunny Day here? What's your guys' opinion on using Sunny Day here? Why am I asking you guys? You poor people in the comments, like, not even able to answer. Um, yeah. Let's go. So he was going to use Light Screen anyway. Yeah, we needed to boost the speed attack for, uh, for Toto, really. But look, it's fine. It's fine. And this is going to boost the attack over and over again. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Are we getting Sunny Day in? Honestly, like, I don't know how much of a rock solid strategy is, but we're gonna find out very soon. And Sunny Day, which is gonna boost Toto's attack. You know what? You know what? Our boy, Devil, you did what you came to do. Sunny Day is out there. Um, who do we send in now to... I think it's... We send in Too Cruel. <laughs> Like, he is their best Pokemon for these these battles. And that's the issue. You know? Torch Song again on you, and Poison Jab on you. You went first. Jesus, we like boosted our Pokemon speed stat by so much, and they still went first. But looks, Poison Jab. Good, good damage. It's not great. Stomping Tantrum is, it might destroy our Toto right away. It didn't actually. Okay, cool. And then we can use Torch Song, which is going to even be better now. But, like, it's not going to matter next round because uh, she's, he's probably going to send out La Primaria now. La Prime Marina? Prime Marina? Um, which, is a, which is a bother, which, uh, honestly, I'd like to, like... When, I'm going to switch with... Um, honestly, I'm going to switch with Gus. And then I'm going to do Poison Jab against you again. Because she's just going to destroy Toto right away. But is Sunny Day going to ruin... It's, is it going to affect uh, our Pokemon? I guess that won't only affect the water moves. Shadow Ball. Oh my Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, Gus. Okay, Gus. And we got rid of Gra Grand Blue. Grand Blue Fantasy. We got rid of Grand Blue Fantasy. Relink. Slowbro is coming out. No, I forgot about Slowbro, man. Slowbro is weak to Dark. Um, honestly, Thunderbolt is the best idea against, we, that's what, that's why it's out here. That's why it is out here. <laughs> right? Let's not beat around the bush. 
the, the, the Slowbro is not out here. Oh, sorry. Gus is not out here to be a super flashy Pokemon. Oh, God. It's fine. 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 It's not fine. It's not fine. Poison Jab is very good. Poison Jab is very good. So I think we use... Oh, I have an idea. I think we use Volt Switch and then send back out Toto. What's your, what's your guys' opinion on that? <laughs> There's no way that this Pokemon would know that we were going to use... Um... There's no way that this Pokemon would know that we're going to use, uh, do a, do a Volt Switch. So if it does all of a sudden just use a water move to fight against Fival, it would be kind of strange. I don't think it would. I think it's going to try and use Moonblast against Fival. Against I think that's, that's what it would do. Because like, you know, it, it shouldn't know that we're about to, yeah, it shouldn't know that we're about to change Pokemon. Shadow Ball, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's fine, it's fine. We'll use a full restore on him again. Yeah. Ooh, this is tough, this is tough, guys. This is really tough for me. This is crazy. Yeah, I think Vol Switch is a really good move for this. Uh, how many Pokemon do you have left? There's, I can't even see what's happening here. There's one, you have one faint, we have two fainted Pokemon. So I said, we send out Toto. Kubo's still there, by the way. So maybe it might have been better to send out Kubo. Oh, I just when Sunny Day faded. <laughs> oh no. And the light screen went off at least. That's good. This is so nerve wracking. This is so nerve wracking. Shadow Ball against who? Super effective against you. Okay. Um, bag, full restore again with uh, our boy. Because I can't have Too Cruel dying early, even though he's like the best Pokemon for this battle, I think. But I can't have him dying early. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. That's the strategy with him then is to send out Toto. Decorate on who? You, who are you going to decorate? Who are you going to decorate? And who do you say? You're sending out um, X. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. We have more Pokemon than we've ever had coming into this final battle with Exodrill. Um, the problem is, is that we're going to get destroyed right away with this. But I think... Yawn on Exodrill. And then we use... Poison jab on you. But I, don't, I think I think I think you might be able to go first. If Yawn might not even work. You know what I mean? Yawn might not even work. It's terrifying. It's it's such a terrifying Pokemon. It's to me it's like it's like a Garchomp type thing where like it's like one of those Pokemon that like I, I fear now. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, poison jab on another po on on him would have been better at this stage to get rid of him. But I think get, getting rid of Alcremie is also a good I idea too. <laughs> oh, it's going to use decorate. Oh, you got, it doesn't need its special attack boosted or its attack boost. It doesn't need that. <laughs> it doesn't need it at all. Oh my god. So we have Fival, Kubo, and I'd say we send out Kubo, and then we wait to send out, F or we send out Fival, have him do a freaking Volt Switch, and have him switch with Kubo, just to get rid of all cream. It's not going to matter, because it's going to freaking destroy us, regardless. Oh boy. So we use a Volt Switch on you, and then we try to use a Terrasalize, wait, hold on a second. What type of move is I want to I'm checking this. What type of move is high horse? Is that like that's ground, right? High horsepower is a ground type move. What is ground strong? Am I, if ground is strong against poison. Um it's strong against poison, rock, steel, fire, and electric type Pokemon. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Every Pokemon we have. Uh, so I say we use we keep our, our part water type to try and stay somewhat sane in this. Um, do we kill our creamy? I, I think we try to kill a creamy. On who? Yeah, it's gonna destroy us. It's gonna destroy us. But how, it went before Volt Switch? That is insane. That is crazy. Okay, but it's not gonna matter because this thing's gonna destroy because of the poison part type. We're in trouble now anyway. The only thing is it's like we have full health. You know what I mean? That's the only thing that we can say. Now, should I rev Okay, okay. Should I revive another Pokemon instead of using Kubo? Because if you look at these, is there anything that's... There's, there is super effective Pokemon, right? No, there's not. Um, but Kubo's not very effective on any of them. So, like, we, but then he'd destroy him. we destroy all these guys. So, Kubo's actually the best bet. Terrestrialize maybe Megahorn? <laughs> but no, it's strong against uh, Bug-type, right? Uh, high horsepower? No, it's not. So, maybe we try getting the... But it's not strong against fighting either. So, maybe we should use the two types. So this is 80, 75, 120. So we just try... Megahorn is the best thing we can do. Megahorn is the best thing we can do. How? <laughs> what, is the, what is the point of having a multi-type and a Pokemon that is 10 uh, levels above you? That's going to miss. Of course. Of course. Ador it's not adorable. <laughs> I'm sorry, like... Oh my god, Terra Blast! What can we do? Against such hate. Could we use a full restore? Oh, no, but he's going to be destroyed then by Terra Blast then anyway. Uh, do we have anything? <laughs> um... I don't think we have anything that like, could really do anything now. Um, so demoralizing. Having just one Pokemon that just like is so OP to the point that it's just like scary. You know what? We're gonna die anyway, so why is well, let's revive a Pokemon? Who cares? But now we're gonna get attacked anyway, so <laughs> it ain't mattering. Yeah, it ain't gonna matter. Ain't gonna matter. If he was, if we were able to put him asleep, it might work out. He's going to use high, high horsepower again. But, and it's not, again, it's not going to matter if we full restore him at all. And he just, he'd destroy every other Pokemon. The only one he, like, the only one he, like, maybe he won't destroy is, like, Fivel. But Fivel still got attacked first because for some reason this Pokemon goes first no matter what. Okay. We should have used. Uh... Okay. Okay. It's, it's still going to F us up. It's still going to F us up. So we use Dazzling Gleam. What's our, te what's our Terra type? Fairy. So if we Terrasalize into a Dazzling Gleam. What's thunder? A hundred. See, do we do we try the thunder, or do we go with the hundred accuracy?
I don't think it's gonna matter. Dazzle. One of these moves is gonna hit. One of these moves is is it, it, it's either this one or poison jab. He can't destroy his bolt at the same time. You know what I mean? And the only thing is I'm doing this is just a, a, the slight chance that it could save Fievel. You know what I mean? The slight chance. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh sorry, I stood up from the chair. Oh. <laughs> 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 Dear Lord, dear Lord, <laughs> oh my god, what an insane ending. Dear Lord, thank you for your gifts that you have given us today. Did we, what did you see? Did you see the Pokemon battling it out? I saw Exedrill coming out, 10 levels under me and absolutely busting my arse. <laughs> Oh my god. I would like to go home. <sighs> You're the cutest, Lacey, because I don't think Ex Exedril is cute. I'll be honest with you. No, nope, wrong. We're talking about me. We're talking about my Pokemon. <laughs> She's like, stop. Stop this. <laughs> stop, you weird freak. <laughs> Your Pokemon very cute as well, Wander. Girl, I'm, I I think you're amazing. I think you are very cute. But your Pokemon? Exedrill is not cute. It's scary. You know, it's just not right for two people to hog all the cuties between them. Why don't we wrangle up the cute Pokemon here for a cute picture? Wait, wait, everyone? All the cute Pokemon? Wait, it's your Pokemon. That's actually a pretty great picture, though. <laughs> She's like, wrong. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to make myself a backup copy of three. I'll give you these as well as proof of your cuteness. So we have another fairy type. We've obtained a luring voice. You put TM227 in your bag's TM pocket. Jesus Christ, man. That was tough. You really are very strong when you get serious in Battle War. We just had, like, we were just getting... Because like, I think we had, like... Exedril was strong against four members on our team, at least. I'll keep an eye on you, uh, on your pro you and your progress. Exedrill was stronger than four members on our team. Um, the ending there, Quick Claw saved us. Quick Claw ended this. Giving him the Quick Claw was the end of this battle. Right? That's 3D4, Trance now. Seeing how far you're getting is making me sweat a little. Lisa's all about cuteness. Now, what helps her Pokemon get stronger? She's so into her team, training the little cuties, he doesn't even feel like work to her, right? right? I bet it's the same for you. You work hard at it, because you like it. Unlike a certain someone who busy run themselves into, and everyone in, 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 him into the ground just to get a bit stronger. You know, Lacey's polite to everyone, but she's really blunt with me. I wonder why. You know, bud, seeing your skills up close and personal really leaves an impression. No wonder it's such an effect on Kieran. But enough about that. I guess your Leaf 4 match is going to be against me. Now as you saved the best for last, you gave me plenty of time to get ready. See you soon. Show us what we got. So his challenge is going to be we're going to have to use a team of Pokemon that are that we caught here in this place right so that means um well first of all let's heal our pokemon i'm i that doesn't feel real i don't feel like i did anything i don't feel like i did anything guys well done guys though well done Quick Claw saved us. Quick Claw saved us. Um, so.
so okay let's look at our, our our boxes for now okay so so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna put gone back on the team and swap with kubo we're gonna get gus is already on the team true is on the team five is gonna have to get on the team we're gonna put uh lip on and then toad is gonna have to get off the team in favor of who's the other pokemon we caught here that we leveled up iro so that's our team for these challenges that's coming up um what do you guys think about it I think that's our team coming up. And that's all, that's all we can do. You know, it's all we can do. That's the Pokemon we caught here. It's still a very good team. It's not terrible. Uh, we have a Psychic Bug, Fire type, a Dragon Flying type, a Fighting type, a uh, Water Poison type, and an Electric type. I think it's really good. Quick Claw activated right at the right time, by the way. That was insane. That was insane. That was, that wasn't, that was, that was, that was... I'm not going to say it wasn't us, because it was us, because we, we put Quick Claw on the, the Pokemon for a reason. So it could go first. Um, but I think now it's time to thank the Can Never Play the Baby Eggs here on Patreon, guys. Thanks so much to Typhiro2, Jamie Bull, Janet Banana, Normal Kara, Rachel S, The Ghost of Inazuma, Felicious Felix, George Candelari, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, Pokegirl, Tether, Fruity, Orange Bang, and Summer Oasis. Thank you guys so much for everything. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for probably, I say my, it could be the conclusion if we if we do good enough. Uh, but I think there's also an epilogue as well. I'll see you soon.